Howdy friends, welcome to tasteofgyan.com We're gonna be looking at uh, another model you know from the Lego EV3 education set and this model is called Puppy uh, it's a pretty cute combination and uh, you know I think it's, it's probably the simplest one to build or the fastest one to build very neat uh, combination of various pieces as you may see I think you know you could use the straight they have used the straight beams angular beams and if you look at the rear legs uh, they have made use of the double angular beams and I think you know this is probably one of a very um, neat use of those beams a bunch of sensors in play uh, you know for the pad gesture they have like a touch sensor and as you may see there is a color sensor this just sort of create a fading gesture and I'm not sure if you're able to see here but I mean there is a very neat use of gears you know and there is a worm gear on the bottom to and you know with a combination of other gears on the top to have a head rotation movement and we'll, we'll see that probably in more depth later um, but I thought like you know like I'm dealing with a seven year old here and just explaining this itself that you know you could have uh, these kind of rotation options with the gears was itself very uh, interesting and the large servo motors you know most of the people don't know that they come with um, you know rotation uh, degree rotation sensor and they have very well made use of it to kind of create uh, you know uh, limb movement like rear legs movement um, gestures here and uh, they were pretty, pretty cute and this is a unique piece which you get with Lego education set like you know this ball and it was made to put use for as, as a tail and if you see some of these accessories are used as uh, big long ears so I think yeah sky's the limit and you can make use of these pieces and can even further enhance it right or improvise it to your taste but it does sort of give a look, uh, look and feel of, of a dog and they have additionally thrown sort of a bone very colorful bone and you know the color sensor is used as a sort of a mouth and you know once you put the bone down you know the sensor detects as if something has been fed to the fed to the puppy so um, if you um, further look down right just to uh, use based on the program out of the box uh, once you started it the, um, the the puppy would go into an orange glowing mode and this is where you can adjust the head um, you know uh, upward and downward incline just be careful because uh, you know the brick is used as a head or the face for the puppy and this is very heavy you may want to keep it a little bit upwards otherwise the puppy will fall <laughs> on his face and if you look at the motors here right I mean I don't know it's difficult to sort of describe but the small motor is used and it is rotating it on an X axis and if you see that is by the worm gear and the other gears combined is giving a sort of a upward and a downward rotation so I think this was pretty interesting specifically for a seven year um, old kid to see that oh you know you could make use of this motor and a combination of the sensors to generate these kind of movements right um, along with that um, you know uh, if you see um, on the bottom this is how the worm gear is kicking in and there is a small gear on top of it that is uh, combined to uh, give this a movement of the head right so once you're done with this I think you know uh, it, once you press the center button of the brick one more time the puppy attempts to climb or gets up from a sitting position and then this rear servo motors are used uh, based on the degree rotation and if you see they've kind of give a cute gestures like you know there are probably four or five different type of uh, eye, eyes combinations are used to sort of connect with the audience of what the puppy is doing and sound gestures as you may hear the the pad gesture has been done with the uh, with the with those black accessories on the back. Once you click on them, you know you hear a sound as if puppy is eating and reacting to this gestures, right? And once you overfeed the puppy uh, and puppy is very happy, uh, you know you will see the um, the leg on the back will sort of go up with uh, with a funny sound. Uh, sort of giving you a very happy feel right or telling that puppy is like full and you know sort of happy right yeah <laughs> this, is, this is this is pretty cool right and then there are a lot of other gestures that have been done like you know if you let the puppy um, be go without doing anything 
uh, it would go into sleep mode and then you can you know make them in the angry mode and all of these are explained through different type of eyes as you may look now the puppy looks really um, sort of happy and active in this world right and reacting with, with, with the bark right now once you let go the puppy will go into sleep mode and there is a snoring sound and this is very intuitive when I was explaining to my son how much these gestures of using these eyes and sounds make a huge difference giving your project um, you know sort of a more realistic shape right in this case like puppy is waking up from the sleep and you see it's uh, stretching his legs back very very thoughtful right in this case like in you know, sort of giving an angry gesture here so um, I think all in all that's pretty much it I, I think one thing I observed was I mean I didn't pay too much of attention in terms of using the wires very neatly uh, maybe you know you guys can think through start with the smallest wire ahead and that can reduce the clutter all in all I think a uh, lot of fun uh, on this particular uh, you know project and I think this is probably one of the simplest program and you can take it further and it is very easy to understand so great I, I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much we'll we'll post more videos